Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. I don't even know where I left off. We were getting ready to head to my half marathon, which unfortunately I did not get to do and I will be storytelling today. I am in the car by myself, Ella's with my parents, so I'm gonna take advantage of getting to talk to you guys in the car. I really wanna do a sit down in my living room and all these things, but honestly with being like a week behind in life, it just feels it's gonna be easier to do it right now in the car. So grab yourself a drink, you are in for a treat of a long story and I hope I don't bore you too much with the reason I couldn't go to my half marathon so leading up to my half marathon like days before I ended up getting sick I really really was hoping not to get Ella sick and I thought we were in the clear I woke up and I was like I am NOT sick anymore that same morning Ella started fussing at 5 in the morning which she never ever does like she doesn't whine nothing Everything seemed fine. I couldn't pinpoint why she was like, fussing. 7 o'clock, 7.30 rolls around, and she just like starts crying when I got out of bed. And I picked her up, I held her, I'm trying to figure out. But at that point, she had gotten warm. So I check her temperature. She has 100 degrees um, of a fever. Like literally less than 30 minutes later, I check her temperature again. She has 103 fever. I give her her medicine and I'm just waiting for it to kick in. 30 minutes go by and she's a happy girl again. She's talking, she has her legs kicked up, like everything. It's only a matter of time until she starts feeling fussy again. I'm like, I'm just gonna take her to doctors. I need to rule out if it's bacterial, viral, like teething related, whatever it is. If I got her sick, I don't know. I never got a fever, but her doctor said that fevers are not contagious. They just could be a part of the bacteria or the viral infection. I go on my insurance app. They do have an availability for 140 that day, and it's 11 o'clock at this point. So I'm like, thank God we book it, we go, and she is just so uncomfortable at the doctor's office, which is the best time for her to feel uncomfortable. The doctor was like, you probably got her sick. I'm like, thanks. Thank God she did not have the flu. This is the day that we are supposed to be leaving. And I text my family, I'm like, hey guys, like she actually caught whatever I had and I know her body's aching. Like I'm not gonna be able to run this race. I'm not even gonna be able to go. So they were like, yeah, like definitely stay, blah, blah, blah. Dominic, Ella and I ended up staying behind. That is the reason I couldn't run my half marathon. And honestly, at that point, I didn't care about the run. I just wanted her to not be sick. Thank God though, it only lasted a day and a half. She's like, it was very unlikely that it was gonna last as long as it did. I was just praying for Ella the whole time. Like God, please don't let it last in three days. There is nothing worse than seeing your baby have a fever or just in any kind of pain and you being so limited. And me getting sick, Ella getting sick, and then we both woke up feeling better, and now Dom is sick. And I'm like, ah! So anyway, good thing his is not like, he just has a sore throat. But he's, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. He's golfing right now, so you know what that tells me? He is fine, he is totally fine. Funny story, my family ends up leaving to San Diego. They arrive at one in the morning because if you remember, Nikki had a dinner that night, all of my sisters did. So they get there at one in the morning, the code is not working. I try to get in contact with the Airbnb people, they text me back and then they stop texting me. Next day they tell me, oh well for a late check-in you're supposed to let the host know. I've never heard of that before, especially when you did reach back out to me and just stop texting me. My family couldn't get in, the area was sketchy, the home was beautiful, but the area was sketchy. I was like, I was not expecting that. They ended up going to a hotel. Nikki does her half marathon on two and a half hours of sleep. Props to her, I'm so proud of her. She ended up coming top first half of all of the runners. She did great on every single category. I am excited to report that I will still be running a half marathon in February, but I will not be doing it in 2023. So that's what happened, that's where I've been, that's why I've been MIA. I've been taking care of my little family, Dom and I. We got to go to his company dinner on Sunday night. It was nice, it was intimate. There's probably like 20 of us. We went to this spa in LA where we had Italian food, so that was really good. I don't even remember what it's called, but it was one of those restaurants where they feed you as they go. Like, we never got our full portion in one city. Once we were done with one thing, they would bring out another dish. So that was really nice, very good company that we got to spend time with. I missed my exit. Let me see if which location would be quicker now. 20 minutes, well, I'm gonna end up just going to the one by my house. So missing that one exit like completely detoured me. Going back this way, there's so much traffic. So I'm just going to have to roll with it. Let me show you guys the other side of the freeway. I'm not gonna be, this is where it's telling me to make my U-turn. Let me show you. 
No thank you. Not trying to be stuck in that traffic. Thank you. Did you want a straw? Yes, please. Thank you. I have my drink and my water, and now I'm ready for the rest of the day. We have arrived to our destination. Okay guys, this is the one that I want to get for my dad. I had really good reviews. I'm just trying to find it. I think it's out of stock. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to ask somebody. You guys, I think I literally just found the last one and it's not even where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be over here. My dad must have been on the nice list because I just found the very last one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Came out with the goods. Next stop, five below. Thank you. <laughs> Next stop is Target. Okay, getting some packing tape for Laura's giveaway winner. Congratulations to you. She'll be sending you a gift today. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. See you again soon. We saw that these are half off and our Christmas is pajama theme. I'm going to go ahead and grab one even if it's not my size. Yeah, yeah. I found my size. Selfie. This just happened. Next stop, Ulta and TJ Maxx. We are getting things done today. Let me call my mom real quick. Okay, it is getting hot, and I realized the heater was on. My sister just texted me and was like, she was like, oh my gosh, is that the only welding things you got him? Because Galindo, my sister's boyfriend, got him welding jacket and other things. So I'm like, yeah, so he's gonna be all welded up. going to purchase three gift cards for a hundred each. I definitely need to eat. I did not have breakfast today and I got like a super caffeinated Starbucks drink, which I don't recommend. I just don't recommend it at all. But today has been super, super productive. I actually need to call Alex back because I was on the phone with her in the line. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the drink? Oh, sorry. I added that. It was a Coke and an Arnold Hummer. Thank you. Oh, Nikki, I feel like you want to come to the late Have a great night. Okay, we got the goods. I'm officially back at my mom's, reunited with Ella. I'm about to help Lauren wrap so many gifts. 
because I'm the best elf. I'm not Santa, but I am the best elf out there. I'm so, so excited. I love, love, love doing that. So I'll keep you guys posted on the progress. Okay, we were able to get some presents wrapped. That looks like one ginormous red flannel. No, you can't go through my property. Okay guys, I will be closing out the vlog here. I wanna say thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Thank you if you made it this far. If I don't get a chance to pick up the camera before Christmas weekend, I just wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year with your loved ones. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video.